Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of Gekkan Shoujo Nozaki-kun, Episode 7. Wow. Once again, another great episode of this series. It just keeps getting better and better. And like always, there was two segments, so I'll talk about each of them in order. The first segment had to deal with no Sakura trying to get Nozaki a hobby. Because, like, like you know, mangaka, they work their fucking asses off. Okay, like they really do. Like, Ichiro Oda, the author of One Piece, only gets four hours of sleep a day, and he works seven days a week. So it's like, yeah, like manga can work their fucking asses off, and obviously Nozaki is no exception. So, so so on his time off, Sakura tries, which is extremely rare, mind you. Sakura tries to get him some sort of a hobby to do, and. It doesn't exactly go as planned, okay. Be okay, because whenever like they like they're going to the movies, they're going out to eat, they're going to a, a clothing store, a figure store, and all this time, Luzaki's constantly thinking about his work. Everything he's doing at all four of these places, he's constantly trying to figure out what he's going to put in his next manga, and using them as inspiration. Okay, even going as far as at the clothing store trying to get Sakura to, like, put on a sailor uniform and pose for him. It's ridiculous, but it's fucking hilarious as well, because he's, I guess some people will call him a stick in the mud for, for lack of a better term, because, you know, he doesn't really have any other hobbies except for, Except for writing manga, which is obviously his job as well, but you gotta think of it this way though. It's like he, He's always write, writing manga and as soon as he gets off off of his break, he's going to need to go back and He's gonna need inspiration basically to go and write write more so it's really fucking funny that Everything he does, even in his off time, is somehow related to his manga. It's actually, I think it's actually really funny. Okay. So yeah, so that was basically a complete flop. And of course Sakura was still very naive. She thought that it was a date. And I have to ask one simple question. What the fuck does Sakura see in this guy? Seriously, I mean, it's not that he's a bad character, because he's not. But what does she see in him? Is it just his looks? Because that's kind of shallow in a way. It's like... What does she see in him? I have to know. Oh god, this is kind of bothering me here. It's like, why does she have so many, so, these are like romantic feelings for him? I don't get it. Okay, I really don't. But, uh, anyways though, um, overall though, I did very much enjoy this episode of Get Con Shoujo no Zaki-kun. It just keeps getting better and better. Second, part wasn't as good it was ba although it was still good it was basically just M Mikorin posing for the art club and we get to see more of his personality here one of my favorite characters because of his personality because he you know doesn't like to d do everything for these girls like, like he appears to at first but he kept but he tries to put on a front pretending to be a nice guy but he ends up saying more than he than he really needs to and he ends up basically regretting it later on. Okay, and it's really funny. So yeah, but again, that part, section wasn't as good as the first section, but it was still really funny. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after this. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.